guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a look with this classic red lip and a classic eye as well, but kind of with a little bit of a modern twist with some glitter. I think that really makes it a little bit more modern. And I also have some new products here that I'm going to be trying out that I just got this morning. I'm so excited about that I have been really researching to figure out what I want to spend my gift cards on. I recently got some gift cards to Sephora, so I really wanted to figure out what I wanted to buy with that money. And I'm really, really, really happy with all the products that I bought. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Disclaimer, um, disregard my hair. I know it's like doing its thing right now. I'm on like third day hair, so just uh, bear with me in this. So one of the new products that I just got is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I tried this and like they gave me like one of the little free sample things when you have so many points or whatever, but I tried this and I fell in love with it and I've been wanting to spend the 40 some dollars that it is on it for a while now. And I finally worked up the courage and I paid a lot of money for this, but it's very worth it. I think it's a really, really great primer, especially for like pores and fine lines. And surprisingly it kept me matte all day too when I used this um, like over the summer. And it's, it's not that's not one of its claims, but I found that, that it did that for me as well. This is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like in the pot here. And it's a very like thick consistency. Like this is a serious heavy duty primer. Like it's thick and, but on the skin it doesn't feel like that. It feels very nice on the skin. Earlier today before I went out and went to Sephora, I did put on um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More just because it had a little bit of color to it and I wanted my face to be a little bit more of um, all one color, but I did wipe that off. And now I'm gonna go in with just this much of the Timeless Primer. I'm just going to start to smooth it in this area. A little bit on my forehead, take it up there, and on my chin. So while that settles, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about the foundation that I just bought, which is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is really awesome. I've heard really great things about this. And again, I never wanted to splurge and spend the money on it, but I finally did. And I'm really, really excited to use this. This is what it looks like. Just comes in a stick like this and it says Hourglass on it and all the other sides are just plain. But it's in a triangle shape, which is really unique. And I think um, it really makes this product stand out from other stick foundations. This is supposed to be really good for having like a medium to full coverage. It's buildable. It's supposed to conceal redness and fine lines and things like that. So I'm going to give this a try. Now this is lighter than the shade I would probably use right now. But because I have been going tanning, I'm tanner than I'm probably going to be within the next few weeks. So I want to be able to use this in the future and not just use this as like a tan color. So this is going to be light for me probably. Um, but nothing a little bronzer can't help with for right now. I'll do some stripes down the side of my face and into my chin. We'll just, we'll just play around with it and see how it goes. Yeah, that is really light, but that's okay. It's actually really creamy. Like I didn't think it was going to be that creamy. I thought it was going to be a bit more hard to like put on, if you know what I mean. All right, this is just a clean brush. <laughs> I need to clean my brushes and it's like the only clean one I have. This is by Morphe and I'm just going to blend it out with this brush. Wow, it blends really nicely. And it is very full coverage. That is a great coverage. Now, normally I would go in with green concealer first and cover up any blemishes, but I really want to see how well this is going to cover that stuff. So I say that looks really, really nice. It's got a pretty matte finish, which is good for me. It feels really smooth and very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I really like this and it's actually really like fast to do because it's in a stick form. I think that's really convenient for a lot of people. Even though this isn't my color, it's blending so nicely into my actual skin and you can't really tell that it's makeup only the fact that it's not my color. It looks really beautiful, you guys. It's a very, it's matte, but it's like natural at the same time. The finish is beautiful. All right, now I'm just going in with concealer and I'm just mixing these two shades yet again. I've been doing this for a while now if you've been watching my videos because this one's a little too dark, but this one's a little too light. 
So I'm just going to mix these. Now I'm just going to highlight the center of my face. Just taking my Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to bake all the areas that I just did with the concealer. My nose and where I focused the Tarte primer is honestly looking really amazing, you guys. That primer really, really smooths out the skin. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier powder as well. And I'm also going to use my Beauty Blender for this as well. I'm going to put it on the Beauty Blender and really push it onto the foundation so it sets it kind of like you're doing a foundation, but you're doing your powder. This is a really great trick if you're an oily girl like me. I've been doing this for a while now, and it has really helped me keep the oil down. And I'm really getting the nose really well, too, because this is where I get the most oil. It's okay if a little bit of the bakage comes off when you're getting the sides of your nose. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows next. I'm just using my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. Just taking this tapered brush by Morphe, I'm going to sweep away all the bakage on my under eye. And by the way, for the Hourglass Foundation, I'm in the shade Warm Ivory. Again, this is not my ideal color, but I am tan right now, and I'm not going to stay tan, so I got a lighter color. This is going to be my more wearable shade in Warm Ivory. Now I'm just going to bronze with my tried and true Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. Now I'm just taking a more fluffy angled brush, this is by Morphe, and a little bit of the Chocolate Soleil powder and I'm really going to warm up my whole face since it is a little bit too white. Going back to my Too Faced powder, I'm just going to contour my nose. It is time for the eyes. I'm just going to prime with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Just taking whatever powder is left over on this little angled brush, I'm going to go over that paint pot and just kind of set it so it's not so tacky. And now I'm going in for the eyes. I'm going to be using a mix of colors from my Morphe 350 palette and my Tartlet in Bloom palette. Starting off, I'm taking the these two shades here and just kind of mixing them in between each other with a fluffy brush. And I'm taking this in my crease as my transition shade. So I'm just kind of buff this all around the crease area and kind of sort of down onto the lid. Using that same brush, I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's more of a like cooler tone matte light brown instead of a warmer tone brown. <laughs> Going right into the crease with that shade as well. Going into my Tartlet palette, I'm taking the shade Smarty Pants and just using that to blend the two colors together. Going into my Tartlet palette again, and I'm taking the shade, it's called Jet Setter. I'm going to use it on a more, um, sort of like a pencil brush. It's a little fluffier than a pencil brush though. Take a little bit on this brush, and I'm going to put this directly into my crease. And I'm going to start by blending it in the outer corner crease and slowly work my way blending it throughout the whole crease. Now I'm just taking this random brush that came with one of the Tarte palettes that I have and I'm going to take the more flat, fluffy side and go into the shade Flower Child and I'm putting this all over the lid but I'm really going to try to avoid the crease as much as I can because I want that those brown colors to stay there. And I'm not taking it all the way out to my outer corner either. Focusing it on the inside here and on the center of the lid. Going back to this brush, I'm just going to 
use no added product and just sort of redefine this crease. Now I'm taking the brush that came with the Naked Smoky palette and I'm using the uh, more fluffy end of it here. And I'm going back into my Morphe 350 palette and I'm using this shade right here. I'm going to buff this on basically the outer third of my lid. Using that same brush, I'm picking up another shade from my Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to take this color right here. It's a warmer dark brown. And focusing this right on the outer corner. Just going back to that really fluffy crease brush that we started with and I'm going to blend everything together. I'm taking this Smarty Pants shade again and on a, just a flat, basically like an eyeliner brush, I'm just buffing it all along my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this shade Jet Setter with the same brush and focusing this on the outer corner and dragging it into the middle of the bottom eyelid. Going back to that dark brown that we used for the outer corner on the top lid, I'm just going to get the very outer corner of my bottom lash line. Alright, now for the fun part, I'm going to be using another new product. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This has been all over YouTube lately. This is a liquid eyeshadow and it's so glittery and beautiful. Do you guys see that? And I'm going to put this all over my... I'm just wiping off a lot of the excess on the inner rim of the product here because I don't want to use too much at once. So I only have a little bit on my brush right now. And I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to start basically right in the center of the eyelid and sort of just blend it out in both directions with the applicator and with my fingers. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my god. Now, since this is wet, I'm going to let it, oh my god, that is beautiful! <laughs> I'm going to let it dry with my head sort of tilted back like this so that my eyelid doesn't make the product crease when I open my eye. And this shade is Sandy Storm, by the way. Just taking the smaller flat tip of the brush from the Naked 3 palette. I'm taking the shades Flower Child and this top shade called Charmer. I'm going to mix them and use them as my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. Now I'm going to set my brows with the Great Lash Clear Mascara by Maybelline. This is a really good, cheap way to set your brows if you don't want to spend the money on a brow gel. It's like mad expensive for no reason. Now I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner. I'm using my Kat Von D liquid eyeliner and I'm a little skeptical because I don't know how well it's going to work on top of this glitter, but let's see. There's, there's a good amount of glitter on this tip here. Okay, you know what? I feel, I feel like that's good. And the outer corner of my wing didn't really get a lot of glitter in it, but on the lid where the actual glitter is. It did mix with my eyeliner a bit, but I'm kind of digging the look with the black liner with a little bit of the glitter just kind of falling into it. I think it looks kind of cool. For mascara today, I'm going to be using another cool product. This is the Unique Mascara. It's like it's called, I don't have the box with me, it's at home, but the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. There are two tubes like this, and this is the gel like mascara and then this is these little fibers that you put on the gel and it makes your eyelashes really big and long and I used to use this a lot in high school because I forgot how much I really liked it so I'm going in with the gel and this is black like a regular mascara now I'm putting on the fibers and you can do this as many times as you want and I usually do it about three times so that's my first time. 
Now you go back in with the gel and do another coat of that. Now I'm going with a second coat of the fibers. Third coat of fibers. Just taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm using this for my lower lashes. Okay, you guys, I just went ahead and added my blush. This is the my Milani Rose Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And now it's time for a really fun part. I'm going in with the brand new Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Highlighting Glow Kit. These are so beautiful. I swatched them with my fingers um, a little bit ago. And let me just tell you, these are amazing. These are beautiful, like gorgeous. <laughs> so I think today I want to go in with this shade Glow Getter and this shade Forever Lit. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to put Glow Getter down first. And if it's not as light as I'm going for, I will then top it with Forever Lit. I don't know like how much is getting on my brush right now. I'm using a fan brush from Morphe. Wow, that's really beautiful. I'm definitely gonna top it with Forever Lit because it is more of a darker shade, this uh, golden shade. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of the lighter shade, like the really, really white shade called Forever Lit. Taking a tiny pinch of that just to go over the golden shade just because I feel like it's not that bright on me and I want it to be a little brighter. Oh, I'm obsessed. And just going over the nose and the cubes bow and the chin once more. And I'm going to take whatever's left on this and just press it in the bridge of my nose. Okay, you guys, now we're going in with another really uh, fun part, and this is another new product for me. I tried it yesterday for the first time, and I fell in love with it. Um, this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I got the shade Unicorn Blood. This is a gorgeous, like, dark brick red. It is just so, so beautiful. I've been wanting to try his formula for a while now, and this color just really was calling my name. Just taking a tissue, I'm going to blot off any excess chapstick that is on my lips. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and just pounce over my lips with whatever product is left on here. Just to mute out my lips so that the color is more true to color when I put it on. First, I'm just going to line my lips. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner. It's more of a wine color. Now I'm going to take my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick and I'm going to fill everything in with this. Here we have the final look. I think this is a really classic look. You can't really go wrong with a like matte brown eye look and some winged eyeliner and a classic red lip. You can never go wrong with this. I think this is a really, really, really beautiful look. And you don't have to add the glitter. I mean, that was just... The other day when I did this, I didn't wear glitter. But, I mean, I think it really adds to the look and makes it kind of modern because glitter is becoming a very wearable item for a lot of people. A lot of people have been working with glitter lately and making it um, something fun to play with and something fun to wear. I don't think you have to wear glitter only on special occasions. I think you can wear it if you're just going out to Walmart or going to the supermarket, going to the mall. It's so much fun. You know, you only have so much time here to do what you want. So live it up and wear glitter if you want to on a Tuesday. Like, you know what I mean? You don't have to obey by all these rules that um, people seem to talk about. So I hope I helped you guys out. Maybe if you're looking into buying any of these products, and I have to say I really love all these products. I absolutely love that glow kit and I think the Jeffree Star liquid lips are my new favorite formula of liquid lips and I really want to try some more of his colors. So that's it you guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video.
I just dropped it. Oh my god, I just dropped it and didn't have a cap on it. Oh my god, I want to cry so bad right now. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys see? What is that? What is going on there? Holy shit. Oh my god. Whatever, I'm leaving it. Whatever.